So many, many congratulations. Came close to a, a white ball 100 in the, in the T20 and made no mistake today. Yeah, it was nice uh, to sort of contribute to a winning team. Um, obviously, when I scored a few 50s in the T20, it didn't quite get over the line, but it's nice to uh, contribute to a winning team. Yeah, three 50s, three times on the losing side. You must have thought there was a bit of a theme developing. Yeah, for sure. I haven't actually scored in this day 50 uh, yeah. either in my career, so it was nice to sort of uh, get over that hump and actually make it a big one. And um, it would have been nice to sort of stay there, you know, throughout the... Um, but yeah, it was nice to sort of get at least get back out there and obviously yeah, get, getting over the line with some of the lads was nice. So for the benefit of those that weren't watching, got to 129 and then came back for a second, were left in a heap on the floor. What was actually the problem? Uh, I couldn't feel my legs. Um, I, I don't know if anyone's ever experienced it, to be honest. It's, uh, it was probably the single most pain I've ever had in my life. So, But I think I should be okay uh, for the next few weeks. And um, yeah, well, I just get plenty of rest and a lot of water on board. And I think it might have been obviously the sun and stuff like that today. I'm just cramping up especially, um, in my legs. But I think I should be okay. I should be okay. So you came off. Um, obviously, the innings just almost inevitably lost a little bit of momentum compared to when you and Will Young were flowing. So what was the thought about when you were going to come back? Was it your decision? Was John Sadler saying you need to get back out there? Uh, no, you, you never really pressured me to be honest. Uh, it was solely my decision. When, whenever I felt like I could actually walk, uh, I was, I was, I lie down in, in the chain room for about a good half an hour afterwards and just trying to sort of take everything out of my system. And, uh, yeah, literally as soon as I, I could get up and walk, put a lot of uh, tubey grip on my on my sort of legs and just you know just got back out there and tried to uh, get get us over the line. A first ball back out, half a dozen, um, and then just just dipped out. But in the end, what a terrific performance from Nathan Buck and James Sales at the end. Yeah, well Bucky's been whacking it you know every time I see him, so um, that was sort of no surprise. But uh, but Junior, as we call him, uh, James Sales, uh, he's. Um, yeah, he's, he's a very fine cricketer and sort of he showed sort of what he's made of it today. Yes, there was a little bit of pressure on him because obviously the, the scoring rate was going up. We were saying from we've gone from six when you and Will Young were together up to over north of, of ten. Um, just needed to keep a cool head. Yeah, for sure. Um, like I said, he's he's one hell of a cricketer. Um, you know, he's he's got he's got the full package really. You know, he can bat, bowl, and field. And like I said, he, he showed what he's made of today. And um, well, hopefully, it's the first of many. He touched on, on Nathan Butt there, he calls himself the happy hacker. Ten off two balls, decent strike rate. Yeah, not the worst, but he also bowled well early on. Obviously, got his first this day, five first. So, yeah, that's, I think that was a big relief for him as well. Um, but, yeah, it's, uh, well, he, he's, like I said, he's been whacking it, you know, every time I see him bat, and you know, it was sort of no surprise for us. And after losing a high scoring game at York, pleasing to get the win today. Yeah, for sure. It's, it's always nice to, you know, chase down 300 plus. And, I think we did it with a couple of balls to spare as well, and I think we had a bit more in the tank, if I'm being perfectly honest. But um, yeah, it was just, just amazing feeling to get us over the line.